I'm knee deep in the frick puddle, baby. I didn't know that. That's interesting. That's cool, because Hectic is a pure fucking evil level. Oh, neat. I didn't know that. Maybe he wanted you to play the game as the way God intended. He wanted you to finish it like a real gamer. Kreo, do I think PSX Doom is a good game? I do. I really like PS1 Doom. It has enough that feels like the traditional game to be good in that regard, but it also feels like its own unique thing, too. Like, the aesthetics and audio changes are pretty cool. It's also a PS1 port of an FPS game that actually controls fairly well. Unlike the PS1 version of this game. But I won't even say that the Dark Forces is the worst PS1 port for the old FPS games, because it's not. I definitely think Hexen is the worst. Because you gotta deal with Hexen's control scheme on a PS1 controller, and you gotta deal with texture warping. Not a good combo. Yeah, I think it's cool that they had like the N64 levels in Quake 2 Remastered. This is why I'm glad you have respawning on all secrets here, because this is so nice to just have two TDs for that jump. Like, it's not hard to do on remaster, but man, it is a fucking relief to have two in case. Yeah, PSX Doom's cool. I might play that at some point, too. A very, very long time ago, I streamed PS1 uh, Quake 2. And that was when I was streaming it from the PS1 console, but... I haven't done something like that in a while. MDK, I don't know the answer to that. A lot of people say it is, and I'm gonna find out at some point in the near future, because I do plan on streaming it. Y'all get to get to experience that with me.
played Giant Sis and Kabuto? No, I have not. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Great game, very cool, nice. You know it's not a great PS1 uh, FPS game, and I can say this because I recently re replayed it, was uh, Men in Black Crashdown. It is a very bare-bones shooting game disguised with the looks of Men in Black to carry it. It's not great. And some of the late game like levels are ridiculously like poorly designed. Real time strategy and action, nice. It's a good combination of things right there. It's like directing traffic. Similar concept. Some strategy, some action. Ooh, that was kind of nice. Weird concept in 2000, okay. thing is, I don't really play a lot of RTS games. I don't have anything wrong with them, but, like, I don't click with them very well. It's the same thing with a lot of immersive sims. Like, I don't know, I, like, I think that games like Hitman are really cool, but I've never been good at them. Like, it's... As silly as it sounds, like, I need some degree of, like, direction when I'm playing a game. I had the same thing with Prey. Like, Prey is a really cool game, the 2016 one. But, it's not a game I could super get into just because there was... It was like, it was really cool because of how open and how environmentally, like, driven storytelling was, but I've just never been big into it. I just played Pikmin. I played Pikmin when it was re-released for the Wii, but I never beat it because I rented it from Blockbuster, if you can believe that's a thing that people used to do. The game was cool, I was just not good at it. So I never got around to beating it. The only RTS I played recently that I, like, enjoyed, even though I was still not very good at it, was the Command & Conquer remaster. But, like, that game had a lot of other good things going for it, and the remaster had some really nice features.
Pikmin was your first GameCube game? Nice. When my parents bought the GameCube back in the day, we bought it with uh, Super Mario Sunshine and Wave Race Blue Storm. So we got one of the best GameCube games and one of the most forgettable ones. I could save a good amount of time if I just got Trash Cycle. A little bit messy, but nothing we can't handle. I'm not really good at any of the games I like. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're having fun. I mean, just look at me, man. I am really like speedrunning up PS games, even though I'm not that good at them. Come on. Dude. Please. This is not a hard jump. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm trying to think of what my favorite GameCube game is. The GameCube had a really good library. Like, yeah, the controller's kind of weird, but, like, the GameCube had good games and had, like, the best versions of every game that had, like, multiple console releases. GameCube ever has an evil true. I won't say it's my favorite game, but one of my most, what I think is one of the most underrated GameCube games is uh, Custom Robo. I fucking love that game. It's so fun. It's so good. Ah. Clean movement. Let's go. I need to play the other Paper Mario games, because, like, I've played the original, and I really liked it, but I've never played the other ones. through the cookie dough. Stop after super. Okay, that's kind of what I... That's the general consensus most people say. Remake 1 isn't my favorite Resident Evil game, but I think it's the most well-made one. I think from an objective standpoint, it is the best Resident Evil game. Because my personal favorite Resident Evil game is the original Resident Evil 2. But, like, RE1 Remake is a perfect example of how you really well design a hor survival horror game. And, like, never at any point in the game do you feel like you're more powerful than the game itself.
Oh yeah, for sure. If we do that, then Earth is safe, pretty much. Definitely with you on that one. Oh! Give me a boost. I'm glad people are re enjoying the remake. Switch has been a good console for remakes, that's for sure. For what it's worth, I've enjoyed my time with the Nintendo Switch. Like, any time I get a game that I'm actually excited for, I enjoy it. Like, I get it only for the Nintendo games, but... Yo, Leko, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it, dude. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Hope your stream went well. And thanks for shouting out, Leko. Cool dude. Oh, shit. Hold on. Dude, why is he not dying? That took forever, damn. Just tired, I get that, man. What'd you do today? Did you do what we were talking about earlier? But yeah, everybody uh, from Leko's stream, if you're not following me already, please do, because I just recently hit uh, 1,800 followers and somebody unfollowed me, so I'm back to 1,799, so... If at least one of you wants to be generous, I would greatly appreciate it. But I'm Rip Chip and I do a lot of... Oh fuck, what am I doing? I do a lot of old FPS games. Mowing lawns. Yeah, that'll do it, man. Like, that's just exhausting work. Also, my mouse got fucked up because I accidentally hit the Windows key, so y'all can see the mouse there. I apologize, I'll fix it when I have an opportunity. Oh, fuck. Do a lot of ripping and chipping? That I do. I do that. I guess doing respawn fixed that, that's cool. Not a psycho ripping, no. I don't go by that name, that's, that's the old me. 130, 150, nice. It's pretty dang fast. Just look at it this way, it's only gonna get better from here. I think for the likes of a hardcore Doom Free Gamer like you, that is very doable. I believe in you. Alright, 
Let's see if we get lucky. Nope. Dude, what the fuck? This is so bad. Well, there goes any time save here. For anyone who's not familiar with this game, I just killed Boba Fett behind the wall and that causes the game to get fucked up and lets the mission be considered complete. Yeah, you gotta remember to pick up all the shit. It's a 100% run, not a 97% run. Back when I was like first running uh, this category, there would be times where I forget like one or two secrets and people would be like, oh, nice 95% run. Death a single segment? Of course you are, you fucking hardcore ass gamer, you. I won't be doing that anytime. I don't even know if I'm going to be picking up Doom 3 anytime soon. I should, but... It's not like on the, dot the list of priorities. The main priorities are this game and getting a 37 in Rot, but... I felt more like doing this today than I felt like doing Rot today, so... That was unfortunate. It's cool. The thing is, like, I would love to do it. The problem is that nothing is set in stone, and on top of that, it's a very last-minute plan for me. So, like, doing that might be difficult, especially since I'm gonna be doing SGDQ here at the end of the month. And that's gonna cost a lot already. Don't let Blood Thunder do it. I already took Blood Thunder's uh, spotlight when I... I didn't do the respawn shit here. Oh well, not a big deal. I took Blood Thunder's spot when I got to do the run at SGDQ, so... I mean, I'm not the greatest at Doom 3 either, for what it's worth. I still haven't gotten a run that's under an hour, so... My problem is, like, with Doom 3, is, like, it's a game where making the smallest mistake can really set you back. And that just gets fucking old really quickly. I mean, the whole reason he really, like, learned it is just to learn the other do all the Doom games. Which I can understand that. He's good at Doom, like, 2016, though. That's for sure. Die here, I need to not run the risk of losing any more time. I picked it up because Doom 3's fucking cool, man. <laughs> no, I don't pick up games for that reason. The only reason I pick up a game is because I like am interested in it. I'm gonna lose a few seconds, but I'm still a minute ahead, so it's not a big deal. Or almost a minute ahead. Okay, he's 
need to not fuck up these next two levels and I am in the clear. Oh shit, come on. Just bad luck right there. I don't want to do it because there's going to be too many sweaty people like going for it that I just can't compete with. Like, I'm too busy for that shit, man. There's not going to be a game that I can just pick up on a dime and be like, oh yeah, here comes my fucking paycheck. And like, the story of like, what happened with Zem, because Zem's a friend of mine. And like, how much time he put into it and only for him to get second, like, that was just heart-wrenching. They are awesome. They're kind of hard to learn, but like, once you get a hang of them, they're super satisfying. And like, with the Force Engine, people have been able to pick it up a lot more, because a lot of people, like, didn't run this game back in the day because they thought it was too hard. And it is, like, especially without quick saving, quick loading, like, if you fuck something up, you can lose a lot of time. Dark Forces is a cool run, though. Like, it's very fast-paced. It's very... rewarding. Yeah, and I mean, like, I'm already grinding, like, with Rise of the Triad, and... It sucks, because, like, I know I can get the run that I want. It's just gonna be a matter of time and patience, which I don't have a lot of either of those things these days, so... It does have a very eclectic difficulty curve. That's a good way of putting it, honestly. Alright. Just need to not fuck this up, and we are in the clear. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it, and I'm gonna already lose time, great. Which means we're once again back at 1,800 followers, I'm pretty sure, unless some other jackass unfollowed, so thank you. I think this is like the third time this past couple months I've got 1,800, so... Yeah, we did it, bitches! It's wild, because I talk about it all the time, but, like, what sucks is back when I was streaming a lot more frequently at my, like, peak viewership. Probably, like, towards the end of- the middle of 2020. Um... Like, I was almost at 1,900 followers, which was cool, but, like, because I had such a long period of, like, radio silence, I lost a lot of followers. And I know some of it's just, like bot accounts and shit like that, but, you know, it still sucks. Dude, come the fuck on, not like this. Come on, please, not like this. So, that whole section got fucked up because my game's frame rate decided to just tank randomly. So that fucking blows. Which means I'm not going to save a minute of time here, probably. I mean, if you want a similar experience, you can always run, uh... <laughs> you can always run Doom 3 in third person like I did one time. You know, it's actually nuts. I'm still getting random people who are finding that video for the first time and commenting on it. And, like, it has 14,000 views on YouTube, which is fucking wild to me. And it was all just because of a more or less just, like, a meme idea that I had. <laughs> I was like, huh, this is a thing I can do. What if I actually did a run like this? I'm not doing it again anytime soon, so... And I'm sure as shit not doing it on Nightmare Difficulty, that would be its own, like, p an impure form of hell. Peep is cuddly. Peep's a very good bird. Peep is the name of our newest bird, by the way. Me and Honeybird got another budgie. She is solid yellow, and she is incredibly sweet. Just kind of nice. 
I love my other birds, but they can be real assholes. <laughs> Portal in third person sounds like it would be trippy. Shit. Alright, well, I'm gonna lose a bit more time here now. Uh, this sucks. This really sucks. I was supposed to have free time save on our camera and I blew it. In multiple situations. And they're not even normal situations either. So much for that. Man, this sucks. If I just stopped making really weird mistakes, I could get like a 31 on remaster easily. And if the game stopped fucking randomly tanking its frame rate, that'd be cool too. But I will settle for this because this is still pretty decent. 32, 30, or 32, 29 is good. For like an initial like proof of concept run.